So before I actually get into the preview of this weekend's game, I want to have a quick discussion about Pro. And for those of you that don't know what Pro is, it's the professional referee organization. It's the referee organization that provides the referee for MLS. And lately, it's been under a lot of scrutiny. And that scrutiny is now going to be implemented even more after what happened to last night game between the Dynamo versus the Union, where yet again, we had a game-changing decision that gone, got wrong. Uh, so what happened in this game was that right around, I think, the 53rd minute, uh, Thomas Martinez got sent off because apparently it looked like he did step on a opponent's foot on purpose, even though if you look at the replay, he did not do that. Like, he was actually looking at the ball, and he was trying to look at the ball so that he can basically tap the ball into the back of the net, and unfortunately, he accidentally stepped on that Union player, but the referee did not look at it that way, and instead he sent him off. And because of that sending off, the Dynamo went down to 10 men for the remaining of the game, and the Union basically capitalized that, and they won 3-1. And anyone that saw that game, and especially for Dynamo fans, they would tell you that if that sending off did not happen, then that is a game that they shouldn't have not lost. Now, I'm not quite sure if that is going to be the way how it will maybe play out but certainly you would kind of argue the fact that if the game was played at 11 v 11 it would definitely be more different than if it definitely played at 11 v 10 and that doesn't really matter of what kind of opponent you're facing and what kind of game it is so you know that was really one well, of the first big kind of call that gone wrong that cost an opponent a game i mean we saw also, what happened over last weekend between the Columbus crew and Orlando City and how the crew got a penalty to get the equalizer. But to be fair, that should have never been a penalty. Um, RJ Allen basically just dived in the box to win his team a penalty. And despite the fact that the referee did look at VAR for that incident, they still stick with the right the decision that they originally called, which is that there was there was clear contact and that that should have been a penalty when it was pretty clear that there was no contact and that game game should have not been you know that that penalty should have not not been a penalty and that that game could have definitely played out much differently but all of that is not just the example of why pro referee has been under scrutiny it's been kind of under scrutiny for the last couple of years with just so many bad call that is and because of that i really think that this has really kind of ruined a little bit of the reputation of the league i mean we all know that mls is growing and that this league is definitely taking the right step in terms of trying to become a very attractively in the U.S. and that they're trying to get more popularity and get more of the big signings in Europe to come to them. Or actually, that is not correct. More like they're trying to get the the youngster from South America to come to their leagues as kind of like a development league, and then they eventually will sold it off to uh, those big European club. But the thing that is the reason why it's kind of holding them back is the referee and how. There's just been so many games this season and even in the past season that there's been just refereeing decision that either got wrong or just completely biased that it it really kind of cost a team a game. And, you know, I really think that, first of all, I think, think Pro should be looking at this and they need to either change the way that that they train referee right now because I, I I don't know exactly how they they train the referee but I have a feeling that they're not doing it correctly and if that is the case then they gotta have to do something about their training program and how they bring in these new referees and how they they need to get the message to them that you know that of course is the right call and that of course is is not a foul and stuff like that and the other thing that Pro need to also do is that they need to have bigger consequences in, to their referee if the referee gets the call wrong. I mean, I know that after that 
Columbus game and how Pro saw that and they literally openly apologized to the public that, you know, we got it wrong. It was our mistake. But that was it. That was the only thing that they said. They did not even say anything about further action that we would do to the referee or we might suspend the referee or fine the referee because of that blown call. They didn't do that. And that is something that I feel like Pro needs to start to do that. And it's as long as if Pro does not do that and they do not put any big consequences or punishment to the referee for making bad calls and making calls that change the game, then the referee just going to continue to do that. They're going to continue to do whatever it is. You know, they will know that, you know, they made a bad mistake and they're going to try not to do it the next time. Yeah, right. Watch out in the next game when they make that bad decision, they're going to make another bad decision. And that's why it's just spiral out of control of how bad the referee is is in this league and you know as a quakes fan i'm very fortunate that so far in the last couple of season i haven't recall a incident where it really kind of cost us all three points or cost us the game but if you are a fan of the houston dynamo and if you're the fan of orlando city or if you're a fan of any other team in mls that has been victim of a bad call that costs you a game you know, that is, you have the right to be angry about that. I mean, you have the right to be criticizing Pro about this thing. And heck, I, even a couple of weeks ago, or actually, I think it was just two weeks ago, Mike Pecky even openly in his in his interview to criticize Pro about it. I mean, if you guys haven't watched the this interview, you gotta watch that. This is... This is probably one of the best rants that I have seen a a manager made after the post game about referee in a quite a long time. I mean, he completely gone after the pro referee and and immediately he just criticized them and don't even care if he's going to get fined, which he it did get fined. I think he got fined for 10k and that he was suspended for like two games. But the thing is, he's not wrong. This is how pro is right now the state of pro is just it's kind of in some way corrupt and that the bottom line of this is that i really think pro needs to do something in terms of fixing their referee by providing better training program and also punish the those referee and have some heavy consequences to those referee that made those bad calls and and made a game changing call that is clearly not correct and i actually haven't even got to the fact that we have to talk about var and how it's been implemented in mls i mean i've been always talk about how in my preview and review i'm kind of a person that is a neutral in terms of var you know there's some aspect i like about var and there are some aspect that i don't like about var but the reason why i really think that people are are hating var is the fact that they think that var just does not work at all and that var does does not kind of overturn those call and just do not make the correct call all the time. And I think that is probably the biggest misconception. But I think the reality of why VAR does not really work out so well in MLS is how the referee are using it. And so far, I feel like the, the two ways that referee have been using VAR wrong is that one, they don't use VAR in the first place and that some referee are just being so stubborn and they just being so naive that they think that they can just make the right call without looking and checking at the referee. And I know there are still some ref that does that. And the other reason why the referee are using VAR is how they interpret if a play should be reversed and how if there is inconclusive evidence to overturn the call and it just feels like so far every single referee has a different way to interpret what is a inconclusive evidence to overturn a call and what is one is not inconclusive and that it does not need to overturn and that also has to come back to what pro has to do and how they need to do better job in terms of training these ref in terms of the VAR system because I feel like there shouldn't be a point where all these referees should have a different point of interpret a play through VAR and and interpret whether or not if it's inconclusive or not. Pro should be the one that implement a system and implement just 
a very basic rule to tell to their ref what is exactly inconclusive and what is exactly not inconclusive. And if it goes on to this line where it is inconclusive, then yeah, you just overturn it. But if it goes below that line that is not inconclusive, then you, of course, don't reverse it. And that, I think, may be one of the ways that could potentially fix in terms of how referee determine whether or not if the play is obvious or not. But like I said, I really think that the the whole thing about this is that as long as we don't see Pro do something about that, and heck, I think even MLS, like many people have said, need to start holding Pro accountable of the action that they do. And as long as if that is not going to happen, Pro is just going to continue to make up their own rules and continue to have this faulty training system to their referee and just being this very kind of, kind of, kind of immunity kind of kind of way of setting their referee where if the referee made a bad call they will just they'll tr try to hide them behind and trying to ignore them and hopefully in the next game they're gonna not make that same mistake you know they need to do something about that they need to change the way how they implement this system but either way i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what do you think of this and what do you think pro needs to do in terms of trying to make sure that their referee do make the right call and that we don't have to always after the game just kind of have this refereeing controversy of how this call really kind of cost the game because let's face it i know for a fact that we are going to at least had some of these games that we're going to have to kind of question the referee and in terms of whether if they made the right decision or not that of course is part of the game what i really hope that we do is that we don't have to do that every single game because it just feels like so far almost every single game we have to have some discussion about the referee decision and that some of the calls that he made wrong that kind of caused us this kind of play and that at at some times it even costs us a game so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash that subscribe button and yeah i will see you guys next time